آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ سو اینستد آف انترین آلیسه پرسیوین این ویس تراجیکتوری آف ترین تو ایرادیکیت فای شیرن Another approach has been developed by researchers uh, from 2002 uh, up to now, and uh, this approach is to build ways of living with it uh, by recognizing it uh, with a well-circumscribed perimeter of what type of sharing would be allowed, uh, non-for-profit non uh, in any manner, only between individuals uh, without centralization of content by on sites, uh, only peer-to-peer -peer or, or direct transfer from person to person. Uh, uh, this is uh, M, uh, developing new financing schemes uh, that would contribute to the real challenge of the creative economy and the Uh, condition of existence of expression in the public sphere. I, I cannot detail these schemes now in the time that I have, but let me just list what are these real challenges that we are not taking in account while we are discussing ACTA and similar texts. The first of these challenges is an enormous increase in the number of people who create works that are made accessible to an universal public, even if uh, in some cases only 10 people will actually access them. Uh, and this increase is not just that anybody writes a blog. It's, you find it at every level of competence and quality of the products of these activities. And this is the real challenge, because if you have 10, more, 10 times more people engaging in creative activity, as this center uh, is built to encourage, then you, it means that you have pair, in average, pair work probably eight times less, uh, or even 10 times less, even if you concentrate attention, the, the audience and the time allocated to access a work will decrease. So, uh, this is the real challenge. When you hear an artist saying the internet is awful because of the internet, I sell less or I have less readers or whatever, what they actually mean uh, is something uh, which is much harder to, to solve than piracy. What they mean is there are other guys around who do interesting things. Uh, and uh, while we are holding this meeting, there are 10 meetings in town uh, on similar or, or odd subjects that attract the same people that make it your audience actually quite a large audience for this meeting. So this is the real challenge we have to address and it's a challenge for cultural economics, for public policy, Uh, it is also a challenge for, for how, which technology we develop. It is also a promise, a promise of a more diverse attention to works because the, the digital economy uh, uh, is not uh, today centered on creative industries. It is centered on rent-seeking industries. Industries that, are, that have bought catalogs that contract very few new artists and, or new projects and blame it on piracy because it's much more comfortable to simply make money with what you have than to bet on an uncertain future. And I think uh, uh, to, yesterday I was in another debate on ACTA and in the end Uh, uh, it was a really contra uh, contradictory debate, with, not just with David Advocates, but uh, with David. <laughs> and and, uh, and he, at the end, uh, but they were friendly Davids, they were polite Davids. So at the end we decided, well, uh, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if we still disagree that strongly with people who are reasonable and smart, It's probably because we have different worldviews and because we don't speak of the same thing. And 
And so the real question between ACTA is, uh, do you want Europe to be a place uh, where people have incentives to create because they are copied? And not, or do you want people uh, 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 where people uh, are prevent, uh, do not need to create because they are protected against copying? 